Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just gonna be kind of fun. We're gonna be talking about hair and specifically about pixie cuts. I receive literally hundreds of messages, comments, emails all throughout the years of people contemplating getting their hair cut. They'll ask me all kinds of questions about maintenance of a pixie cut, whether it would be right for their hair type, for their face shape, how do you find the right stylist, all of those things. So I just thought it would be fun and hopefully helpful to sit down and share with you my experience. Now, some of you might not know, but I used to have waist length hair and then I've had every length in between. I had the bob style, I had chin length, I had past the shoulders. For most of my life, I've had long hair. So I feel like I can speak pretty well to the various lengths of hair, what's involved versus what my experience has been having a pixie cut. And then just give you some various options because my hair has not always been this short and it has been shorter. So I hope that you'll find this video helpful and fun. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. So the first thing that I personally had to get over, and I know a lot of you are thinking about when the very first question is, what if I hate it? What if it's too short and I don't like it? Guess what? It'll grow back. So I just feel like, you know, over my 46 years of life, you know, what's a couple months with maybe a super short haircut? And honestly, a really short haircut like mine, you would be amazed at the changes a haircut goes through in just a week or two weeks, let alone a month. So knowing that your hair will grow back, why not? take the little plunge, right? Because you can always grow it out again. But if you don't chop it, you may always wonder, hmm, I wonder. Now, the other thing that was really surprising to me is I thought my husband especially, but you know, men in general, we hear that they only like long hair. And I have to tell you, I would say I get more compliments now from my short hair than I ever got with long hair. And I always took care of my long hair. I always styled it, curled it, all of that. So the belief that, you know, your husband, your spouse, your boyfriend, whatever, won't like short hair, you might be shocked. Now my husband didn't think he would like short hair, but he actually does. So that was another kind of big hurdle I personally had to get over. And I know some of you have that conversation with your spouse, your boyfriend, whatever. Hopefully they're willing to let you just take the leap, but just know that you might be shocked and they might be shocked how much you actually really love it. And as I mentioned, the compliments, I mean, that's the other thing that you might be shocked about. And I feel like a pixie cut just stands out in a crowd. <laughs> So be prepared, be prepared for lots of compliments, lots of people turning like this, asking if they can take a picture of your hair. It happens to me a lot and I know, I have heard from so many of you that have said it happens to you as well. Now let's get into just a couple of really good facts to know. So maintenance, what is the maintenance? I get this question all the time. How often do I get my hair cut? I do have to get my hair cut often. I get it cut, I try to get it cut every four weeks. This cut I'm on right now will be four and a half weeks, but I went a little extra short last time, so I haven't felt like it's been super long. But it is important to go every four to six weeks, depending on how fast your hair grows, because that helps your stylist maintain your cut better. And it also, you'll be surprised how much your style changes just in six weeks if you push it that far. So definitely keep a regular cut routine. Again, I go every four weeks. My color, my highlights, and I've got lots of salon visits all linked down below. I'm not gonna get into details about what she does, but my highlights are done every three months. So your salon visits are going to be more frequent than when you have long hair for sure. But the next thing, your daily maintenance or every other day, every third day, however often, I personally like to wash my hair almost every day, but you don't have to. With this style and depending on what types of styling products you use, you can go multiple days. And I've done some videos of second day hair and literally, I mean, it's quicker than throwing on a baseball cap or throwing up your long hair in a bun. And it looks much more professional, sophisticated, just done 
then sometimes that can look. Now, I'm all for a ball cap and a bun. It looks cute on everybody else, just not me. But with this style, you can literally just ruffle up the back, maybe blow, throw your blow dryer on it for a few seconds, add a little hairspray and you're out the door and your style looks like you spent a lot of time on it and you didn't. As far as how long it takes me to fix every day, so many will comment on a tutorial saying, I thought short hair was supposed to be easy. This takes forever. No, if I'm not explaining things, if I'm not walking you through, helping you learn, I can do this style in less than five minutes from wet to fully styled. And I've actually done that. I'll see if I can find that video down below. It's actual timed video. So with my long hair, even when I didn't have it all the way down to my waist, if I was starting off with wet hair, I would spend 20 to 30 minutes just with the blow dryer. And that is no exaggeration. So most times I would have to wash my hair the night before, let it air dry through the night and hope that it was dry by the morning so that I could begin the process of curling it or straightening it. So I know full well how much time the long hair took for me to style. Even when I was doing second day hair with my long hair, it still took quite a bit of time. It sure took longer than five minutes. Now, as far as the cost of daily maintenance on your hair, and I'm thinking about product usage, actually, you're going to be shocked at how little product you actually go through with a short pixie cut. With my longer hair, even though I had less frequent visits to the salon, I was spe still spending a lot more money on styling products, especially shampoo and conditioner. I would go through shampoo and conditioner like crazy. And with this style, if I just stay with one shampoo and conditioner, the conditioner will last me over a year. And the shampoo, of course I do buy a large bottle, but the shampoo will easily last me for about eight months or so. So I'm really not using a lot of product there. And even though I use a couple of different styling products in my short hair, again, I'm using a tiny amount. So the cost for those products spread is spread out over a longer period of time. So I feel like that is kind of helping compensate for the extra salon visits. Now, speaking of salon visits, the next thing that is really crucial is you do need to find a stylist who knows how to cut a pixie cut. And I know there are lots of you out there saying, amen, been there, done that. Just because they can do a men's cut doesn't mean they're going to be great at a pixie cut. If they're great at your long hair style, I will just tell you, they may not be great at a shortcut. So first off, you can ask your hairstylist. And a lot of, I would say most hairstylists will be honest because they don't want you to go out the door with some horrible looking cut and you're sharing with everybody you see who did this bad cut. After I got my hair cut the first time, and it was a longer pixie cut, but I had gotten it cut in Colorado by my cousin who was a phenomenal hairstylist. And I came back to get it trimmed from the hairstylist I had gone to who was cutting my kind of longer hair. And after one cut from her, I knew, oh no, she doesn't know how to do the style. She didn't know how to style it, how to fix it. It was not a good cut. So I had to let it grow a couple of months and then I began the search for a stylist that I felt could do a good job. So you do need to find a stylist who is good with short pixie cuts. I have heard several of you recommend seeing a barber. Yes, that can be an option. So if you have exhausted your search of regular stylists, you may look into a barber who may be able to give you the look that you want. Now, when you find this stylist who does well with short hair or says they do well, the next thing that's really important is to actually bring pictures of the specific pixie style you're interested in. I have lots of pictures on my Facebook page, on my Instagram. I've got videos here on YouTube. You're welcome to use any of those. There are lots of other pixie styles out there on Pinterest, Instagram, but my stylist says a picture is worth a thousand words. And if you bring three, that is going to speak much better for you than you trying to describe my cut or whatever cut it is you're wanting. Because every stylist has a different idea of what a pixie 
means. And mine, I mean, if you watch my salon visits, you know my stylist and I still love to change mine up. I'll say, hey, what if we take this a little longer this time, a little shorter over the ears, a little shorter here. And so we may start with a picture, but we tweak it from there. So make sure that you have a picture, that you have a stylist, who can do short hair on women, that does make a difference. And then third, make sure that they are a stylist who will actually listen to what it is you want them to do. The next question I often get is hair texture. Will this work on my hair texture? What is your hair texture? My hair texture is coarse and I have super thick hair. My stylist really has to texturize it and thin it out in certain areas. If, however, you have fine or thinner hair than I do, it can actually work for you as well. Again, this will come down to the skill of your hairstylist knowing what is best for you, but my stylist, really her general kind of instruction or her general tips for those of you who have finer hair with this style is you may just need to have deeper point cutting, a little more texturizing in order for you to see those kind of texturized areas with the pixie. But again, that's just my particular style of a pixie, depending on what pixie you choose will determine that. But I know my husband has super fine thin hair and I give him a haircut. And it's always amazing to me when I give him his cut that it actually looks thicker when it's shorter because the hair, it has more lift. It's not weighed down as much. So that's just a little thing to think about. If you've been worried about your thinner, finer hair, you may be surprised that a shorter pixie cut can actually make you look like you have more hair. Now, the final thing that I want to address, and I also get this, I, you would be shocked of all the comments and messages I get, but some of you have said you feel like your face is too round or too full to pull off a pixie cut. Well, if you study my face, especially in my videos where I start off without makeup and my hair is not done, you may realize I have actually a pretty round face. I have fuller cheeks and in my hair journey video, you can see my cheeks were even fuller. And I feel like this style, the way that I style it and combined with a few little makeup tricks, it makes it work and actually looks much better on me than if I had my hair pulled back in a ponytail or a bun. You're seeing actually less face than when I would wear my hair up. And I also feel like because of the way that my stylist cuts my pixie, I'm able to kind of create some angles that help break up the roundness of my face. So for those of you who've been unsure if it can work on a round face, actually a pixie can be very flattering. So with all of those really helpful tips, I think the final thing that I would share with you, just a fun little thing is, I always thought short hair would be boring because I thought that I would have to wear it in the same exact style every day. And when I had long hair, I loved to do different things with it all the time. I was always doing twists and braids and different things because I would get bored. And you might be shocked as I was, but short hair in particular, a pixie can be really versatile. And there are so many different ways that you can style it. I have lots of different videos to give you ideas. I'll link those down below. So I hope that this video was helpful and fun. If you have been on the fence of whether to chop your hair off and get a pixie or grow out your pixie, hopefully the information that I have shared here has been helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. Check the description box for links of all of those videos I mentioned and I'll see you next time. Bye.